pitiful. Meghan Markle shattered after exhausted Prince Harry writes Aunt Princess and a letter wanting to quit U.S. life. A royal breakdown, or just another tabloid tale. It sounds like a soap opera. Prince Harry, tired of American life, writes to Aunt Princess and he wants to leave the U.S. Is this the end of their American dream? Let's imagine this surreal situation. A prince, once fourth in line, writes to his aunt. He doubts his life choice. It's a story that makes you wonder. Yet here we are. Let's explore this story and see what's behind it. The spark that lit the royal fire. Prince Harry's departure from royal life. It feels like yesterday when Harry and Meghan left their royal duties. They called it Megxit, hoping for freedom from the British press. But did it work out as planned? The answer is complex. They've made a splash in the U.S., landing big deals and starting a charity. They've also spoken out on big issues, getting both praise and criticism. But there's a sense of tension. Harry talked about the toll royal life took on his mental health. Now, life outside the palace might be just as hard. A cry for help or a moment of reflection. Imagine the weight Harry carries. He's always been defined by royal duty. Leaving it might have felt freeing at first. But what now? Have you ever thought a big decision would solve all your problems? Maybe Harry is feeling regret or doubt. Maybe he wonders if the U.S. was really better. Meghan Markle's role, strong supporter or collateral damage. It's easy to see Meghan as the one who led Harry away. But is that fair? Meghan faced intense media scrutiny, from her race to every move. Imagine starting a new life with paparazzi at Whole Foods. It's not the Californian dream. But seriously, Meghan is often seen as the one in charge. What if the situation is more complex? Both Meghan and Harry might be struggling with the pressure. Could Meghan be just as exhausted as Harry? She's fiercely defended him, but now she might be caught in his battle. Now let's get really interesting. Why did Harry confide in Princess and She's known for being no-nonsense and duty-bound. Harry might have turned to Princess and because she's known for her quiet strength. She gets things done without making a fuss. In Harry's eyes, she could be the stability he's looking for, guiding him back to his purpose. Curiosity break. Could Harry be seeking advice from someone who knows royal duty well? Someone who has done it without scandal or drama? Is his letter a sign of his desire for stability? The exhaustion of American celebrity life. More glamour, more pressure? Switching from royal life to Hollywood stardom doesn't seem to reduce stress. The couple has more freedom, but faces new public scrutiny. They're now media personalities, expected to make public appearances and fulfill brand deals. In the UK, they had royal duties. In the US, they face new challenges. This change comes with its own set of pressures. Relatable moment. Ever felt overwhelmed by a new job or project? Realizing you've just swapped one set of pressures for another? Harry might be facing this now. Freedom isn't always as easy as it seems when you're still in the spotlight. What does this letter really mean for Harry and Meghan's future? We don't know what Harry wrote to Princess and but reaching out is significant. Is he trying to get back into the royal family? Or is he just looking for support during a tough time? Aha moment. Maybe this isn't about leaving the US or returning to the UK. Harry might be searching for balance. He wants to reconcile his past with his present, figuring out who he is outside the royal institution but still keeping a sense of identity and purpose. Actionable Tips What We Can Learn From Harry's Dilemma Harry's situation teaches us about life's big decisions. Are you running away from something or toward something? Harry and Meghan left the royal family for freedom. But what kind of freedom did they want exactly? Escaping one set of pressures only to find another is common. When making big changes, ask, what am I gaining and what am I losing? Reaching out to someone who has faced similar challenges can offer valuable insight. Harry's letter to Princess and might be a sign of seeking guidance from those who understand. The final chapter. What's next for the Sussexes? It's hard to predict what's next for Harry and Meghan. Will they step back from the public eye? Will Harry find peace in America or the UK? Or will this letter mark a new chapter, 
where they redefine their roles as global citizens and advocates. Call to action. What do you think? Could Harry's letter be a sign of his growing disillusionment with life outside the royal bubble? Share your thoughts, and let's keep the conversation going. A royal reconciliation or a new path? Speculating about Harry's letter to Princess, and we see that their decisions are not easily undone. Leaving royal life was about redefining themselves. Harry's journey has led him to reflect on his relationship with the royal family. Is reconciliation possible, or is Harry's letter a step toward a new chapter? Rhetorical question. Haven't we all wondered if returning to our roots is the best option? Could Harry be in that position, torn between his past and present? The power of reconciliation. Is it even possible? Reconciliation is a powerful word. It means healing, understanding, and compromise. But Harry's departure from the royal family wasn't smooth. It was filled with tension, public statements, and revelations that hurt many. For reconciliation to happen, everyone must want it. That includes Harry and the royal family, like King Charles and Prince William. Think of family feuds you've seen or been in. They're never just one event. Years of tension, miscommunication, and misunderstandings make forgiveness hard. And the global spotlight makes it even harder. Harry's relationship with William is strained. This is because of their candid interviews about their royal life. Maybe Harry's letter is a first step towards fixing their relationship. Reconciliation is not just personal for Harry and Meghan. They're former royals, and their actions are watched closely. People have mixed opinions about their choices. No matter what Harry and Meghan decide, they'll face criticism. Joining the royal family might be seen as a defeat, but staying away might deepen the family rift. How can Harry and Meghan win when every choice is criticized? Can they find peace despite the intense scrutiny? Meghan Markle has always supported Harry. She's been his partner in building a new life. But what does she want? Meghan's move to the U.S. was about more than escaping the royal life. It was about finding a place where she could be herself. If Harry is reconsidering, what does that mean for her? Imagine the conversations Harry and Meghan have behind closed doors. Meghan is supportive but maybe tired. The couple faces a lot of pressure, from media to balancing their lives. How does she feel about Harry reconnecting with his family? Picture a late-night conversation between Harry and Meghan. The weight of their decisions is heavy. Meghan listens as Harry shares his concerns, feeling the tension between their dreams and reality. What about Archie and Lilibet? Archie and Lilibet, Harry and Meghan's children, are important in this story. Harry wants to protect them from media and pressures, but their royal heritage is part of who they are. Harry may be thinking about how to balance protecting them and letting them understand their heritage. Would royal life offer them structure and connection to their roots? Or would it expose them to media attention? This could be about Harry wanting to give his children a chance to understand their heritage. Their legacy is tied to the British monarchy, whether they're in the UK or the US. Could Harry be seeking advice from Princess and on how to balance this? Harry's story is about something we all face, finding who we are and what we want. We all have to choose between our past and the future. His journey shows us that these choices are universal. What we can learn from Harry is the value of life's big choices need deep thought, whether you're a prince or not. Harry's story teaches us it's okay to change our minds and make new choices. Family ties are complex. Harry's move to reach out to Princess and might be a step to mend old wounds. In our lives, reaching out to family can help us grow. Harry and Meghan wanted freedom but faced media attention and public scrutiny. We might face similar challenges with our big choices. The key is finding a balance between being true to ourselves and handling life's responsibilities. Conclusion What will Harry and Meghan do next? As we finish looking into Harry's letter and the challenges he and Meghan face, one question remains. What's next? Will Harry give up his American life and return to the royal family, or is this just a moment of tiredness? We might never know what Harry's letter said or what's happening in the palace. But one thing is clear. Their story is far from over. The long game, navigating life in the public eye. For Harry and Meghan, life in the public eye is constant. They face scrutiny whether they're in the U.S. or back in the U.K. 
Their journey is a bigger conversation about identity, family, and fame's costs. It's hard to see their lives through tabloids and headlines. But their story teaches us about identity, family, and fame's costs. Harry, born into the spotlight, now faces a different public life in America. Meghan, known from acting, deals with intrusive media and royal expectations. The question is, how do you stay true to yourself when everyone watches your every move? Harry and Meghan struggle with this every day, but their lessons can help anyone dealing with public perception and staying true to themselves.